our chair, and then I'll open it for questions and answers until 10. Thank you. Th thank you, Seni. Thank you for um, setting out those five priorities for the African group. Uh, the African group feels like uh, this is a unique opportunity for us to ensure that we can keep the one billion Africans uh, safe. So it is important that leaving Durban we have uh, an outcome which is as ambitious as possible. Uh, I read many news reports last week uh, as I was in DRC, I just arrived this weekend, and, and I, I saw uh, a gloomy painting uh, being put to us. Uh, so I, I really believe that on African soil, Africa is the continent which contributes the least to this climate change phenomenon. Uh, I, I really hope that people on African soil will try to go above and beyond what the national positions are to keep the one billion Africans safe. For us, we believe that when we get involved in those negotiations, although uh, it's created a lot of mixed feelings and emotions, we need to put our emotions on the side and use two tools which are objective. One is what science tells us, and the other one is the rule of law. The rule of law is very important. For us, we believe that the current regime of international climate change governance uh, is, is based on strong rules which represent multilateralism, and those rules are sound, they're good. For us, if it's not broken, don't fix it. We believe that we should try to build on those rules. We understand that the Kyoto Protocol doesn't capture all emissions, but for us, whatever the percentage of those parties involving the KP, 23%, 21%, we believe that if 21 or 23% of the class are good students, there's no reason to fail the whole class. We should try to push the good student to do what's right and then ask to the other students to raise the level of uh, their capacity so that they can be better students. So that's where the African group stands and we believe that we uh, understand that some issues uh, are ripe, some other issues are not ripe, so it's very difficult to ask for movement at the same time. The KP is ripe, it's been ripe for many years, it works well, so the KP needs to go into a second commitment period. And unfortunately, the issues on the other track are not as ripe as the KP. So let's first turn the first key, and then we'll see how we can turn the key on the other side. Also, for us, it is very hard to comprehend that the KP, which has provisions for people who don't like it to get out of it, we're just hearing people who are saying that they don't want the KP to continue as it is, uh, they want the KP rules, but they don't like the KP. It, it is hard for us to comprehend. Uh, if you want the mango, you, you have to like the mango tree also. You cannot get the mangoes if you don't like the mango trees. So if you want the market to continue, if you want strong, robust, transparent rules to continue, then keep the mango tree. And uh, that, that's really where the group stands. So uh, at this point, I'll give back the floor to my colleague, Seni.